My name is Sarah. I work for a publishing company. My husband Philip and I have been married for almost 10 years. We met 15 years ago when we were a writer and an editor. He was not a very successful writer at that time. When I was assigned to him, he gradually began to sell well. We worked together for several years, but eventually I started to have more and more work to do. When I was no longer in charge of Philip, he had become more stable as a writer. He proposed to me and we got married. A few years later, one of his works became a big hit. A magazine did a feature article on it and included his photo. He had a photographer and a stylist. According to some of his old friends, it was a pretty well-crafted look. He was a good-looking guy in nature. The article got him a lot of attention. He gained media exposure as a good-looking writer. He became more and more sophisticated. Every piece he put out sold more and more. He often traveled to different places to write one book after another. And as a couple, we began growing apart. Then one night. Hello, am I correct that this is Philip's wife, Sarah? Yes, but who are you? I'm sorry, nice to meet you. My name is Layla, I work for Philip. That's my husband. You're always been a great help to him. Are you perhaps a newcomer to the office? Yes, that's right. I apologize for the delay in greeting you. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it at all. I'm not involved in any way regarding his office relationship. Well, if I were you, I'd be more than happy to support him properly, but... Um, so what's up today? I thought Philip was supposed to be on a business trip to find a stage for his next production. Yes, I know. Well, right, yes, so what do you want from me, or is there something wrong with him? No, nothing, I'm just wondering what kind of person you are. Huh? No, it's nothing, sorry for the suddenness, thanks to you, I now have more confidence. What the hell is this? I'm at work, so if you don't need me, I'll leave you to it. Philip's business trip this time is just the two of us, did you know that? Oh, you're the one, Philip told me. What did he say about me? It's nothing to be concerned. It's just that this business trip is with a young girl. Tony was supposed to go with him, but he suddenly caught a cold and couldn't go. He had no choice. What else? Nothing in particular. What about it? Sarah, when you hear that your husband is going on a business trip alone with a young girl, don't you think anything of it? I mean, it's actually more of a trip than a business trip. A trip? You mean a press trip? A press trip? Seriously, you are easy. What are you trying to say? Because a nice guy like that is alone with a young girl? What if something happens, don't you think? I don't, because he's there on business. I knew it. That's really funny. I'm tired. If you don't need me, I'll be off. I mean, how did you know my number in the first place? Oh, you want to know? I can tell you. While he was taking a shower, I checked his phone. A shower? Are you sure you're in the same room as him? And you mean you looked at his phone without permission? I can't believe it. What kind of person is that? It's nothing to worry about. I'm sure he won't get angry because we are going to... We only booked one room from the beginning. What are you talking about? We love each other. Philip is my husband, you know. Of course I know. And you messed with someone else's husband? You think it's okay? Because Philip doesn't like you anymore. He loves only me now. What's wrong with that? Are you okay? You're in big trouble. I'll say it again. Philip is not single. He's married to me and he is my husband. What kind of guts do you have? Well, I guess in general, I don't know, but nothing can stop him from loving me, can it? Nothing can stop us either. Did you think I'd understand you? You're crazy. What Philip said was true. Huh? What? Philip used to complain about you. He said, she's too serious, she's not funny, she's a pain in the ass. When I was a writer and my boss, she was very witty and understanding of the writer's feelings. But after I married her, I found out that women really change, don't they? And every time after that, he said, I want to leave Sarah and be with you, Layla. Why didn't we meet first? God is so mean. I love you more than anyone, Layla. And he always says, I love you and many more. So he's been telling you a lot of sweet nothings. That's a common way to get the attention of young girls. That's hilarious. If you're frustrated, say you're frustrated. Isn't that why Philip got tired of you? Besides, it doesn't matter to me whether Philip is married or not. What matters is how we feel, don't you agree? What you are doing right now is an affair, right? Everyone does that nowadays. Besides, it's more passionate to have that kind of obstacle. Passionate? 
Yes, and we love each other like that tonight alone. It's going to be a wonderful night. No one can put out the flame of our love. The flame of love. How can you still be so relaxed when I've said all this? I just feel sorry for you. Huh? You feel sorry for me? What are you talking about? You're the one who lost your husband to a young woman. Oh well, anyway, you're on a business trip for his next project. You'll have to find a good place to set it. You can figure out the rest on your own. I don't have time for your nonsense. I will definitely take Philip away from you, Sarah. I will take the wife's place that you're sitting in right now. I don't care if you cry later to get him back. Oh yes, I'm not sure I want to go that far. Huh? What are you talking about? I'll say it one last time. Philip is my husband. If you're having second thoughts, now's the time. I won't say anything bad about it. You shouldn't. Huh? What's with that superior attitude? You disgust me. I'm not going to listen to you. I don't have to go through all that trouble in the first place. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my trip with Philip this time. So you won't listen to me? Of course not, because I'm confident that I can beat you. Confidence to beat me? Yes, because I'm much younger than you. My skin is firmer and more resilient. I have confidence in my shape. I can handle my job perfectly. And yes, I'm a great cook, so I can make anything he likes. He blurts out that you get a lot of takeaway and delivery. I can do anything for him. How can you be so confident? Of course I am. I love him more than you do. I don't know about that. Well, but I'm in a stronger position. Huh? Are you still saying that? I don't care about positions. Hey, can I go now? I don't have anything more to say. Anyway, I'm declaring war on you. I will definitely take Philip. Okay, okay. You'd better be ready to give up his wife's position to me any time. I'll think about it. But I've told you so many times that you shouldn't. Yes, yes. Well then. One week later. Sarah, we got to the office and Philip just left. Thanks for the help. You remember exactly what I said the other day, don't you? The other day? Philip loved me the whole trip. Everywhere we went, he had me by his side like a wife. I told you that you shouldn't have done that. He said he wanted to be with me. How's that? I won, didn't I? I don't know about that. You're still trying to play hard, aren't you? Why don't you just admit your loss? I thought I could comfort you a little. I don't expect you to comfort me. I get it. You're so frustrated. You're speechless. It's not like that. Then what is it? Don't act like you are cool with it. What do you want me to say? Say, I'll hand over Philip to Layla. I'm sorry, but Philip is not a thing, so I can't. You're such a bitch. Either way, Philip will be mine soon enough. Are you sure you want to do that? You won't regret? Are you still such a sore loser? You really don't know when to give up. You should have made more effort not to have him taken from you in the first place. Well, maybe you're right. I thought I'd done my best with all my work and housework. He maybe wanted to be with a more youthful and vivacious woman, rather than the exhausted wife who worked too hard. Maybe that's why he ran to a young girl like you. I don't know what you're talking about anymore. If you want to regret it, do it alone. That goes for you too. I'm going to ask you one last time. Are you sure you want to do this? You're going to have a hard time. Huh? I'm going to have a hard time? That's impossible. I have a happy life ahead of me. You really don't understand. What? That you left solid evidence for me. Evidence? I'm talking about this exchange we've had so far. What are you talking about? Everything we've done so far, legit evidence. What do you mean? Philip and I are getting a divorce. What? Is that so? Tell me sooner. I'm saying that I want to get divorced as soon as possible. But Philip won't say yes. What? It's the other way around, isn't it? No, it's the other way around. I've been trying to reach him to talk things over. He keeps dodging the question. No way. So as far as I'm concerned, I was looking for some legitimate evidence that would warrant a divorce. Well, actually, I had some evidence. I just needed one more thing, thanks to you. What do you mean? You didn't have to declare war on me, Leila. I was ready to divorce Philip. But he wouldn't say yes. I was in a bit of bind. Wait a minute, it's Philip who wants a divorce, isn't it? It's the other way round. I don't know what you're hearing, but Philip says he doesn't want to leave me at all. You're kidding. It's true, he has several girlfriends. No wife could know that and keep quiet about it. Several? Yes, four that I know of. You're the fifth, Layla. He's a good guy as you think he is, isn't he? Since he became a successful writer, many women have approached him. A hairdresser, a nurse, a popular actress. There's even one in my office. 
I don't believe that because he said I'm the only one. Leila, isn't your date with him always on a certain day of the week? Day of the week? Let me guess, Wednesday, right? How did you? He puts his girlfriends by days of the week. Monday is this girl, Tuesday is that girl. He used to take off on Wednesday. Now that you've joined, he's lost his day off. He's an idiot. And you know Kate, the money manager in the office? She's the longest tenured one and she's in charge of Fridays. Kate, no, how could that woman? Well, it could be hard to forgive. She's not exactly pretty or in good shape. But she knows her place better than anyone. She would never do anything like you do. So I thought she was the only one I could forgive. But one day I realized that he had other girlfriends on other days of the week. And something inside me snapped. I did a thorough investigation on him and I got the evidence. But not you, you came at me on your own. What are you doing after graduating from a good college? You'll have nothing left after what you did, not him, not your job. All that will be left is the rumor that you are a woman who had an affair with a married man. The next time you meet someone you really want to marry, I'm sure that the rumor will get to you from somewhere and that will be the end of it. That would be no problem if Philip and I were together. You can't be with Philip. If Philip remarries someone, it will not be you. How could you know that? He doesn't like women who declare war on his wife. They are like accessories to him. He will throw them away if they get in the way because they make him look inconspicuous. But Philip said he loves me. He said he wants to be with me forever. You need to wake up. I'm using everything I've said to you as evidence in my divorce case. The media will not be silent about a popular author's infidelity in divorce. Wait, please don't tell them about me. Why are you telling me something so convenient for you now? I warned you many times that you shouldn't do this. You ignored them and went ahead with it. And you got what you deserve. I was seriously considering marrying Philip. I don't care how serious you were. I just know that it was a mistake to make a move on a married man. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Where did that dashing Layla go? It's too late to be sorry now, brace yourself. After that, Layla sent me numerous emails and phone calls apologizing. I went to the lawyer I was consulting with about my divorce. I gave him Layla's additional evidence. As expected, the affair and divorce of a popular writer was a prey of the media. As an adulterous wife, I was hounded by some of the press. However, as an editor, I have been credited with bringing a writer who was originally unsuccessful to such a big success. The public opinion defended me who had supported both publicly and privately of Philip. The girls who had an affair with him also seemed to have been hurt in their own way. Among them, I don't know where the leak came from regarding Layla. She was the worst woman to ever declare war on his wife. She was photographed everywhere she went no matter what she did. She has been unable to leave her house even once a day. In the meantime, Philip and I have been divorced without problems. I am busy as an editor as usual. Philip, who should have suffered the most, actually seemed to have been the strongest. I hear that he has decided to publish a book about this case. He is secretly hoping to become the feature among middle-aged men.